Hi, my name is Aaron. Uh, I work for Worrells. We are the New Zealand distributor for Tax Home Trainers. Uh, today I have the Neo Smart Trainer in front of me and I'll be showing you how to set the Neo Trainer up with Zwift. The other thing I have with me is the SRAM PG1130 cassette. The reason I've got the second cassette is it's obviously much less hassle than removing the current cassette from my bike and then I can leave this cassette permanently on the Neo Smart Trainer. So let's put the new cassette on. Here is my SRAM 1130 cassette. It's got a 11 to 28 tooth range on it. The Neo Smart Trainer will take other cassettes and other brands but uh, the SRAM cassette right now will work perfectly with this trainer today. So the Tax Neo Trainer comes with two lock rings. I have an 11 tooth and a 12 tooth. Because the Tax Neo Trainer I have in front of me has a 11 to 28 cassette on it, I'm going to be using the 11 tooth. That's the cassette on nice and tight and now I'm going to put the quick release skewer on the trainer. Now that the skewer is on the trainer, it is now ready for my bike. So what I'm going to do is remove the table and I'll show you the setup of putting my bike on the trainer. So here we go, I've got a pretty sweet setup here. I've got the trainer on the floor, I've got the big screen TV. So now I'm going to uh, plug the trainer into the power and then I'll be putting my bike on it. So now I'm gonna put my bike on the trainer going to remove my quick release wheel. Now I'm going to tighten it up. So the bike is all nice and secure now. I'm just going to put the support under my front wheel. So all there is left to do is to put my shoes on which I'll do now and then we'll crack into the Zwift. So here we are we've got the trainer set up with Zwift on Apple TV. Zwift is also compatible with laptops and iOS devices such as an iPad or an iPhone. So let's get started and log in as a new user. It's asking for my name and done. I'm going to press next and it'll ask me to put in my email. So Zwift is asking me whether I run, ride or do both. Um, now I cycle, so I'm going to click I ride. Now we have set up a trial account and as you can see we've got 25 kilometres remaining. It's now going to pair my devices, that's between the trainer and Zwift. So I'm going to tap to pair. And as you can see it's automatically found the Tax Neo trainer. That was super simple, it's paired and we've got power source, cadence and controllable all ready to go. So now I will press let's go. My next thing I've got to do is uh, choose my ride type or my route. Okay, so I'm gonna choose a route to ride today. So all I click on is where it's flashing change. Now this gives me my various courses I can choose. I'm going to choose the London Loop. It will show me the map of the course today. I'm now going to go to OK. Now all I need to do now is press ride down the bottom. Now it's asking me to select my gender. The next thing it's asking me is to choose my body measurements. Now I'm gonna choose my weight. I'm gonna save that data. And the next thing I'm going to do is start riding. There you have it. Setting up the Tax Neo Trainer was super easy and setting it up with Zwift was super quick. I was up and riding in a couple of minutes. I'm gonna have a bit of a workout now, but thanks for watching. And if you do want to find out more information on the Tax Neo Trainer, please look at the description below. Cheers.